Yo, what's going on my prayer peeps? Thank you for checking back in. For those of you who are new, my name is Dave with Diversity Print. And today we are going to put the uh, X-Tool Air Assist onto the D1 machine. So let's go ahead and open the box up. Let's see what we have inside. And uh, let's plug it in and get to cutting. Alright, you have an Air Assist uh, guide. You can go through, it tells you what you have included and basically a picture, uh, drawings of how to install it. Alright, so let's zoom in and see what we have. There's a light shield that we shouldn't be using. We have our tubing. We have a metal nozzle. We have two connection tubes. We have the tube clamp we have a nozzle connector we have an air pump connector we have some tape and then we have a couple of allen wrenches or hex wrenches a couple of fastening screws uh, actually four of them two long ones and two short ones and then we have the pump assembly itself Alright, so let me start off before we start getting into this. You're going to have a few items in here in case you have the 5 or the 10 watt. Okay, there's a, a, a couple of differences between the two. If I have the 10 watt, I have no hole on the side. And that's why they give you the shield uh, to replace for the 10 watt. And with the hole on the side so that the air assist can go inside that hole uh, but we don't need that for our 20 watt because it's a lot bigger anyway also the hose clamp this piece right here if you've noticed on the 20 watt there is a uh, a tab here with a hole in it and this is where your air line comes in and it goes straight down to the the nozzle here and it connects in there so if you see the 10 watt the 10 watt doesn't have that so what you're gonna have to do is take two of these screws off here you're gonna remove them and that's where these two uh, longer screws come into play and then this piece right here you would put it with the hole on the front side because it is off center and so you would put it like this on the front side that way it will line up with the air assists when you put this one in the 5 or 10 watt module okay so I do see a small difference um, between this nozzle and the 20 watt nozzle the 20 watt nozzle is a little bit wider than this one so I'm going to leave uh, this one because I know the laser is a little bit thicker uh, so I'm going to leave the little bit wider opening on the one that came with the 20 watt uh, this one actually came in the package of the air assist and the air assist uh, connection right here uh, I'm going to leave that because this one also comes with one as well now you may wonder about the tape we're not going to use the tape because the tape is already I mean the the nozzle is already on the laser module so what happens is when you put this new nozzle onto your 10 watt uh, I believe it is too big and so it kind of wiggles around and so this is where you put the tape and you put it around little standoff here and you wrap it around there and then you put this over it and it should make, make it a snugger fit so we won't be using this nozzle we won't be using this hose connector piece that goes on the top and we won't be using the tape and I don't think we'll be using the hex wrenches or the screws uh, the two small screws are to to screw down the nozzle onto the um, the laser module 
All right, so I just wanted to let you guys know, you know, before we get started, so you know you're not waiting for us to use these pieces. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you want to do is cut the power to all of this. So we're going to unplug both the 20 watt laser as well as the unit itself. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove the cap from that air assist connector. Now the only difference from the package or from the from the air assist that we receive is this has a hole on the let's see if I can show you that has a hole there I'm not sure what that's used for uh, I haven't seen any use for that but it's an easy switch out if we uh, need to replace this uh, replace this one with this one but so far it all looks the same so all we're going to do is put the hose through the top hole and then we're going to come down hold it push down and as it comes up it will grab on to the hose so it won't come off tight fit the next thing we're going to do is we're going to grab our air assist unit we're going to take one of the little rubber tubes fit it over to the edge or fit it over the top and squeeze it all the way or push it all the way and then we are going to put in our air assist uh, fitting and we're going to push this in and go all the way or just push it in as far as you can then the next thing we're going to do is take the other end of the hose and then we're going to push that through and it's a nice uh, fitted connection so that is pretty much it if you have the 20 watt or if you upgrade to the 20 watt you should be already pretty much set all you have to do is uh, run the hose to the top plug it in and then just plug in the uh, all these connections the rubber this rubber piece and then the, or the hose connector and then put the hose in there and that's it you should be good to go what's nice about it is this has a little switch so you can turn it on and off if you need it or you don't need it. All right, so I hope this video helped you out in putting your air assist together. Hopefully I gave you some information uh, that maybe the video on the XTool website doesn't give you or maybe the manual doesn't give you. Uh, if I left anything out, uh, leave it down in the comments. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, I'm not sure, but I think I went over everything. If you liked the video, Give it a thumbs up. If you did not like the video, let me know as always by giving it a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you can. It helps out a lot. Uh, leave a comment down below. Do you have this set up? Do you have this air assist? Let me know if you like it. Uh, I heard it's pretty quiet. We're about to find out here soon. Hope you're having a good day printing. We'll talk to you next time. And until then, peace.